Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below. All right, welcome back, YouTubers and Madden fans. This is Madden Money Shot, sniffing out the Madden cheese. Always. I got some plays for you today out of the Packers playbook. This is the second series out of the Packers playbook. So if you're watching this uh, for the first time, I'll try to pop a link for the first series out of the Packers playbook because I get a lot of requests for this playbook. It's probably my most requested playbook consistently. Uh, but this formation, this gun bunch, and a lot of these plays are in a lot of different playbooks. It's also in the Cowboys playbook, which is one of my most requested. I touched on them as well already, too. Um, the Bears, the Saints, which is a very popular playbook. Um, I want to say I want to say the Raiders, but I'm not 100 percent sure. That's another really requested playbook. So check your favorite playbook for this for this uh, set of plays. I know the first play in particular is is in a lot of them. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna pick the first play out of the gun bunch. Um, hit the like button if you want to see more Packers uh, for sure. That's always a good way to go. Like I said, this is the second series, but I always got more. So the first play that I want to show and is was my most uh, favorite play out of this. The reason I'm doing this series is the Y curl. All right, so this play set is real simple. All I really want to do is put my R1 route on either a streak or a fade. It really doesn't matter. Uh, this one, I, I think, because my con my coverage looks like it's outside, so I kind of want to go inside and pass lead inside. It's what it looks like the look is going to be. If I think it's outside, I put it on a fade and pass lead outside. Um, you can motion this halfback out. I don't find it's really necessary. I find he works just fine in the backfield, which is one of the reasons I like this play. You're not giving away uh, location of where the ball might go with motions and stuff like that. Um, another adjustment you can do is put Bennett on a slant sometimes, especially if your opponent starts paying attention to that route. I find that it's uh, beneficial. Uh, but you're really playing Nelson off of the triangle route, and then you have your check down, which is Adams, and uh, Bennett's a really good cover three beater. I'm going to go ahead and put Bennett on a streak, not a fade. I keep putting him on a fade. <laughs> so let's go ahead and let's rock this one time. Um, you see there, I mean, that's a cover three, so Bennett's going to be the read pretty much every time. I'll try to put him on a slant, because like I said, that does help a little bit, but I, I don't want to be staring his way the entire time. Oh, that's a corner blitz? Let's go. Oh, oh, let's get, let's get them ju- Oh, we got them touchdowns. Let's get them jukes, bruh. Get them jukes, bruh. Yeah, when you slant the tight end, though, it does, um, you know, in this scenario, I almost feel like it'd be better to motion out the running back if you're going to slant the tight end, because you want him to clear... A little bit quicker. Um, oh, oh, we're getting another. <laughs> we're getting another touch. We're just putting on these. We're putting on these moves today, bro. Putting on these moves today. I think an in route and then smart route is pretty good too for Bennett. That'll do the same thing. This way, you don't have to motion out the running back, and you can see how you have. I think it's called a drive concept. I'm not 100% sure about that. Um, so there's a couple different ways. You, every pretty much every one of my plays, I have a guy that does. Um, you know, he's kind of like a. A, what do you call it? Like a Swiss Army knife. You can kind of do what you want to do. This guy's that guy in this particular play. You see there, they follow the circle, and that just leaves the uh, leaves the tight end open. So it's really up to you. So I don't know which one I like best. I actually kind of think that um, putting Bennett on this um, on this type of play has actually been been pretty good. It gives you a, a pretty good multiple read system over the middle. You can see how that drag typically will pull the linebacker because the linebacker has to react short. So I really think my favorite setup might be this because if it's a cover three like this appears to be you can still pass lead outside and break that route off short yeah so this is probably the best setup um get off of there come on yeah this is probably the best setup here giving yourself that that dual level um spacing uh well i don't know how that defensive end just keeps getting out there to cover relatively well but i got a good play there so so real simple pass leading <clears throat> plays its part on this for sure uh, for Montgomery, you got to pass lead outside sometimes if he's open in the flat right away. For Bennett, you got to pass lead um, to the right sometimes, uh, kind of like a back shoulder throw if he's open in a cover three. Uh, we're there. That was actually good coverage all around. He's still open, so I don't want to go too pass heavy in the first vid. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to throw a run play in here to end this. A um, couple of good run plays. I mean, the draw obviously I'm not going to go over too much. Uh, the quick base or the halfback base is not a lot of audibles. You pretty much run that as is. So I'll go over the counter Y. Uh, There's really only one motion that uh, sets this play off. So we'll go Ram Nickel again. I went over the option to motion Bennett one time, um, you know, in uh, the last play. So now you can motion him over, and it shouldn't uh, it shouldn't change too much. Oh my God, controller vibrating again. <laughs> so I'm getting lit up. But yeah, it's definitely a huge benefit to motioning the tight end. He doesn't go straight into blocking anyway. He just kind of like backs away uh, most times. If you do it, like I did it there, I left him in motion and it was a little bit different. 
You'll get a different type of block if you have him motioning over and then you hike it before he uh, gets set. If you wait till he gets set, he kind of comes back in before he goes back out and he's not as useful, but he doesn't get in the way either. The hole's there. Where if you do it with the motion, um, it's a little bit different. He kind of gets, uh, didn't let me do it that time. <laughs> he kind of gets um, in the way sometimes. Like there, look at these, the, the hole there, man. And it's like really easy to make that safety miss too. He had no shot. Uh, but I'll try again to do it with the motion because that was really a different block. You see there, he just gets kind of gets downfield. But I think it would have been better if he kind of peeled back on that linebacker. So it's really up to you whether you want to motion him over and hike the ball. And, and like I said, I'm just trying to show you how it changes the blocking a little bit. Uh, like there, he's like I said, he just gets in the way a little bit, which is an issue sometimes. But uh, the motion, you almost have to hike it before he even gets past the, the left tackle to get that motion block. Um, and then there, oh my goodness, I just didn't choose a side. So yeah, so to get that motion down accurately, you got to motion it right when he's behind the left tackle. And then you see how he gets downfield. And either way, I mean, there's big holes either way. Doesn't really matter. It's a really um, effective run. But you need a bit of a speed guy. I wouldn't run this if you have a power back with uh, slow acceleration. Anybody with low acceleration is not going to work out. Montgomery's just kind of on the fast side. I hadn't run this too much with the receiver motion. Try that now. So I think that tight end's kind of key, but you can see how the receiver there gives me that extra blocker on the safety. Wasn't as big of a hole, but I get an extra blocker downfield. I would also say, like, this is a matching personnel. So a matching personnel, uh, Bennett. Uh, would be the guy to, to motion over but if somebody's coming out in something smaller like say they're expecting a pass like uh you know like a dollar or something then motioning the receiver over would probably be the way to go there's some really popular plays out there um in this formation uh the pa post is like one of the most popular by like online gamers but i don't run that um and i'm not even really familiar with the setup so i'm not going to go into that too much this, the z spot and go is another one i might go over that here in a bit i might as well go over that one now this is another one's really popular the corner strike is really popular the bunch formation as a whole is really popular the only thing that this for particular one doesn't have is the z spot and that's like one of the more popular ones that uh you know online tournament oh it does have the z spot my bad it just doesn't have that route on the left spot on the left side there um that the square route is running but i'll probably go over all those in video too uh, for now, I'm going to go over ones that I personally use and like, and I think the next one I want to go over is the inside cross. Let's go ahead and let's pick that. Now, what I really like about this play is the route that Montgomery's running. If I could, um, motioning him over really works to the sideline well, but if you keep him where he's at, it's a really good, um, you almost have like a, a, a mesh double uh, double drag concept because of what him and Adams are doing. You still have what you have again, what you had in the last play, which is a deeper version, a, a deeper in route over Adams, which will help to you know get one of those two open. Uh, I don't really think that Bennett here is doing too much. If anything, I think motioning him over and putting him on a um, a uh, flat beater there would be a really good um, came to talk would be really good. It completes the corner strike concept you have on that side. But in that scenario, uh, Adams kind of um, you know what he's doing really doesn't work out. So in that scenario, I'd almost want to put Adams on a uh, just to stretch the field type of play. Uh, put them on a uh, streak. So there's a really a couple different things you can do here. Um, this concept, it works just fine by itself. Like I said, this particular way to run it, uh, I'm going to be looking the running back's way uh, quite a bit. As you see, he comes open underneath everything. Typically, like I said, if you motion him over, you get more of a catch and run, which I like to do. Uh, motion him over here. Um, and then, you know, this is... Uh, you, know, you can also put Bennett on a streak too. If you think it's cover three, this doesn't look like a cover three, but you can also put Bennett on a streak, just get him out of there. Um, but this here, you know, that uh, you get, you typically get pretty good acceleration. You kind of ran in the crowd. So let's go ahead and let's motion. I like the Montgomery motion as one of my favorite um, ways to go. As you can see here, everybody's going to be drawing back, and then he typically gets a nice catch underneath for a good gain. And if it's a man coverage too, man coverage is really going to get roasted by that route. It's just got a really good acceleration burst out of the uh, break. And if we can get a block there, that'd be real good. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. Yeah, you could also motion out Montgomery to this side and put him on a uh, put him on a flat. And you got your corner strike on the other side too, uh, which uh, looks like I got a man coming here. And uh, there was some serious heat, but I, I sidestepped it. Nice, easy throw. So I'll run it like the, the corner strike a couple times. A uh, couple different ways you can run this play. Um, you know, this year, I mean, the R1 routes 
kind of got some space there, but your tight end's not typically athletic enough. Yeah, I don't want to say that Bennett's a blocking tight end, but he's not the most athletic. I think he's got a speed like in the 70s, so you really need a speedy tight end for this play to be a huge catch and run, but you can see he gets open from time to time. It's definitely a good route. Uh, I could also motion over uh, Montgomery, just leave him like that. Now you have multiple crossing routes, uh, which is going to be you know, kind of hard for the users. I see uh, Montgomery poking through there last second. That's it for part one. If you guys want to see part two, make sure you hit the like button. I'm going to go over a lot of the real um, pro favorites in part two. And uh, other than that, all this stuff's on my Patreon now. Link in the description below. Uh, like the, hit the like button for more Packers. And that's it. Thanks for watching, man. Money shit out.